What's going on guys? My name is Kerry. Yesterday we had a brand new house delivered to the lot we've been working on over in Vernon, BC, down by the lake. As always, I was there with my camera recording the entire process from start to finish to share it with you fine folks on YouTube. We are not nearly done with this project. We got it delivered, but we got to get it to move in ready. So if you want to see the entire process unfold, be sure to subscribe to my channel and you won't miss a thing. All right, folks, saddle up. We're going to Vernon. All right, the new house has arrived here in Sandy Beach. And look at this. Doesn't really look like it's gonna fit in here. <laughs> it's taking up the whole road. But where we're going is right in there. We're just gonna shovel off the pad and we're waiting for, gotta move his van right there so we can get by. This shouldn't come as a shock to anyone, but uh, this is gonna be a tight squeeze. I mean, <laughs> the house is taking the entire road up and so what they gotta do, we're going in behind that side. They're gonna pull forward and then back it in the same way Tim took out the one, the old house that we pulled out of here. But the difference is this house is two feet wider than the one they pulled out. So let's have another look from this side. So yeah, he's got to come forward. This car is not going to be very helpful where it's at either. All right, folks, we're in one here, so stay tuned. We'll see how this goes. All right, here we go. The van is moved and now the house is moving. Uh-oh, a little bit of a boo-boo up there. It's all right, we'll get it fixed up. So he's gone down the street a little ways. And then he's coming back. He's gonna start moving it towards the lot. Let's see, maybe he'll do it in one shot. Man, that's big. That is a big, big house. You can hear the chains on his on the truck. Uh, they came through a bit of a snowstorm last night. They said between Kelowna and Vernon was just nasty and they barely made it. I think they made it to the lot at 545 and had to be off the road by six. You can see the chains there. I was told they don't get a lot of snow in Vernon, especially not in November, but here we are. So you can see John over there. He's on the radio to Jason. He's his eyes on, on the back end, kind of directing him where to go, make sure he doesn't hit anything. There he is. Whew. This might take a bit, folks. It's pretty tight through here. Look at all the snow on the window at the back. Not ideal conditions today, but it's Friday and these guys want to get back to Alberta. So here we are. Look at that. This is going to be interesting. I don't know. I mean, they always end up getting it in the spot, but it's just a matter of how and how long. It's getting closer. Got the shot spot shoveled off over there. Sometimes they go in first shot, and sometimes, which I think is going to be the case today, they need a little more wiggling. So 
You know what? This might not be as bad as I thought. The house is kind of hanging over top of the neighbor's fence, which gives them a little bit more space uh, to push it back. So that's a huge bonus because he's been able to go back an extra 10 or so feet without having to move forward. As you can see, he's kind of in a tough spot up front, but not bad. This might, this might go quicker than I originally thought. These guys definitely know what they're doing. I think I'm gonna head over the other side again. What a day to play in the snow. Look at this. Holy, he's done it again, folks. Too easy. We need more snow. This was too quick. Crazy, I cannot believe that. It looked like it was gonna be such a uh, tight squeeze. I thought it would take him maybe unhooking, going back and forth. But here we are, pretty much first shot, Jason gets it onto the pad. I did not see that coming. Jeez. So where we're trying to go is three feet off the fence, which is right where that little stake is. John's at the back, we've got another one there. So that's the mark he's trying to hit. I wish I had a stopwatch on this thing because I thought we were going to be doing this for an hour. If I had a stopwatch running, we might be at six or seven minutes total. This is insane. The guy doesn't mess around, I'll tell you that. Even in the snow. Crazy. So he's going to get get it back, front to back where he wants it, and then I think he'll just swing this front end around and away we go, home for dinner. Unbelievable. Nice. Look at this. What? I don't know if you're going to be able to tell in the video just how close he got it on the first try, but I can't get over it. That is insane. Couple more inches and this thing is going to be home. Unbelievable. I thought this was going to be at least an hour. We may be coming up on the nine or 10 minute mark total. This is outrageous. This has gone about as smooth as it possibly could for a day like today. So that is a huge bonus. You can see they got the house tipped up. They're getting ready to pull the wheels out. So I'm gonna flip this camera around and show you what that process looks like. So what they do is lock the house on the frame at the very back there. And then they've got the wheels that go with the trucking company. So those come out. Right now, John's got the winch hooked up to the front of those. They're going to his truck. Right there he is. He's going to come and get that going and yank those babies out of there. And then we'll put some blocks down the other side of the frame, down this side of the frame once the wheels are out. They'll unhook and away they go. They'll be hitting the road out of here. Here we go, look at this. The wheels, just about out. It's just pulling them out that last little bit. Then Herb will throw some blocks under and they'll set them down on those. That'll be that. Hey, there's Uncle Chuck. <laughs> Here we go. And It's home. Well, there you have it. We've got the front shoveled because believe it or not, we are gonna try and do a little bit of landscaping. We're hoping by shoveling it, uh, it'll melt a little bit. It is supposed to get a bit warmer. And behind me, 
the guys are loading up their dollies. They're getting ready to go back to Grand Prairie. So that's it for today. All in all, couldn't ask for a better morning here. Things went surprisingly smooth, a lot smoother than I thought. So we are gonna get this thing set up and then I'm gonna come back with a home tour. So if you like that kind of thing, definitely subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.